Good morning and welcome back to Tabletop Tuesday here on Gaming with ADHD, where today we're going to be talking about the Mind the Gap card game from Gibson's Games out of the UK. Now, this is a little bit different for me because I recently took a trip to England for my anniversary and I made a promise that was probably a bad idea, but I told my wife that I would not try to, I would not buy any cart or games of or miniatures or anything like that uh if i could actually buy them when i got home and so i wanted to try and actually find something local that uh, yeah was a little bit more uh, representative of where i was at and uh i couldn't find anything <laughs> it was actually pretty difficult uh and then uh we were in a little yeah, it was a souvenir shop, and I managed to actually find this game. So it was pretty much an instant buy, something to to get and try out. Um, and so today I actually wanted to talk about it because it's actually kind of become a bit of a family favorite for us. So before we get started, do make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I try to put out a few videos each week talking about all sorts of tabletop content, whether it's board games, miniatures, role-playing, you know, whatever it is, and I'd love for you to come along and see what we have to share. In addition, don't forget, there are links down below to Amazon, DriveThruRPG, their affiliate links, and they do help out the channel if you choose to use them. But regardless, you know, we appreciate you watching you know, either way. So with that said, let's go ahead and switch over. All right, so this is the this is the box they do give you a tin i'll be honest personally i'm not a big fan of tins they have a tendency to get bent they don't fit quite quite you know nicely in whatever space they're at but they did this on purpose basically this is representative of the symbol for the london underground um and so it's, it is a fun little shape even though it's a little odd uh, on. Now, a uh, couple other things uh, that you will notice. Essentially, this is the uh, essentially the map of the the underground in London or the subway or the tube or whatever you want to call it. Um, but they they've actually done very well at integrating that map design not only into the packaging. Um, but into just uh, the game itself, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, one thing I will point out, uh, as I said, I purchased this at a souvenir shop, and I paid about double what I needed to pay. So keep in mind, uh, I, I've i looked around. Um, I have not been able to find it at a U.S. Uh, store. Not saying that you can't, I just haven't found it. Uh, but if you are in London and you do want to pick this up, uh, check like or, or I saw it also at Waterstones for significantly less than this price. So do keep that in mind. All right. So uh, I actually have everything out of the box. Uh, so, um, but I did want to point these out. Uh, one thing that is kind of fun. Uh, so this is the rules. Um, I'll talk about the rules here in a second. But essentially, it's just one card. Very simple, easy to understand rules. But then they also give you four cards that are basically just full of facts about the underground. Um, so this is a fun little bonus. All right. So the game. What is the game? Well, at the end of the day, it's Uno. That's it. <laughs> but it's not just Uno. They've actually made some changes that I think are... Uh, are rather nice, and it's made it something that's, like, I'll be honest, I can sit down and I can play a game of Uno, but um, for Mind the Gap, it's actually a little bit better, and for me, it's actually added some interesting strategic choices to the game. So, really quick, we'll just walk through uh, essentially how the game works, um, you know, teach you the rules, 
um, and then I'll kind of you know give my thoughts as we go along. So first off, just the design. Again, they're they're integrating the map. They're integrating that underground logo. Uh, you know, so they're making it uh, making you feel like you're looking at the maps. Uh, on our trip, we rode the subway a lot, and you know, always looking at the maps, looking at the um, the like the official app on our phones. Uh, all of it does pull this design in. So the fact that they they did this, it represents just a little segment uh, near the center of London. Uh, you know, so it does make you just kind of remember the map. So the way that it'll work is you will deal each player eight cards. And that is their starting hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, and so in the cards, instead of having like different suits, so like in Uno, you have red, yellow, blue, and green, okay? Uh, then you also have like your wild cards, but essentially you will just have four colors. In this case, they actually have, uh, so they do have some wilds, we'll get into those in a second, uh, but they do have, um, you know, different colors, but then they'll also have the name. So for the black one, it's the Northern line. We then have the Piccadilly line. And then what they've done is they've added, uh, like, so like Piccadilly Circus has stops for the Bakerloo line, the Piccadilly line, and the Elizabeth line. Um, yeah, Central line, Jubilee line. Here's another one with the Circle line, the District line, and the Piccadilly line. So when you're playing your card, you have the option... Uh, so like if I have, if the, the Piccadilly line card is out like this, well, I can play Piccadilly Circus because it has the Piccadilly line on it, or I could have played, uh, Gloucester Road, which has the Piccadilly line on it. And then with, uh, yeah, so then as you can see, essentially you get multiple suits that you can play at times. Sometimes you'll have cards with just one, some with three, um, some with two. Uh, here's one with completely different ones. Uh, and the most they have, which probably should have prepared this a little bit better. Here's one with five, uh, but the most they'll have is six, uh, which I'm still not finding. So we'll just go with it. Uh, but regardless, you you have a little bit more strategic options on what to do. Now, the reason I say there's some more strategic options is if you'll notice down here in the corner, all of the cards have a point value. Now, what a lot of people don't usually realize is that Uno actually has a scoring system. Uh, you'll total up the value of the cards and for... Uh, like once somebody goes out, you total up how many points you have in your hand and uh, you're trying to have the lowest score at the end of however many rounds you play. Uh, for Mind the Gap, we've been playing just one round, uh, but we've been playing with about six players. It's a really, really good mix at that level. So I really did enjoy that. Uh, so what, uh, what I think is interesting as far as the strategy is the fact that the cards with multiple lines on them uh, are have, have a higher point value. So they're 25 points. So again, you can go up to 30 points with a, with a six line stop. Uh, but your single line cards uh, are only worth five points. So early on, you know, you'd think, oh, well, I'm going to drop one of the cards with, with five or six lines on it because they're worth a lot of points. But if you're trying to go out, it's much harder to have a single line card that you must match exactly as opposed to a multi-suit card that is going to give you some flexibility when you're trying to play that last card from your hand. So uh, it's to me, it, it's interesting because it makes you make some str strategic choices as far as what you're going to do 
to get rid of the cards in your hand. And then also try to not play cards that are going to be easy for the other people at the table to play off of. You know, obviously it's better to make them have to draw cards as opposed to uh, being able to just immediately play off of the cards that you've you've put down. Uh, there are a there are six different uh, wild cards. These are all worth forty points. So these are a little bit different. Some of them are going to be similar to Uno, but they do have some different ones. Uh, so uh, first off, we have all change, please. Basically, each player is going to discard their hand and get dealt the same number of cards. So if you have four cards in your hand, you're going to get four brand new cards. Uh, sometimes uh, this is not very nice to do to another player, but it works well. <laughs> so that's all change, please. You then also have step free access. Basically, you're going to play this card, and then you can play a second card. So you can get two cards out of your hand, and you can also get rid of 40 points. Uh, the next station is closed. Basically, this is just a reverse card, so you're going to change direction. Please stand clear of the doors. Uh, the It skips the next player. So, uh, as it says, next player misses a go. Uh, planned engineering works. Now, this one is... is uh, quote unquote new for mind the gap and basically you get to pick one line color so you can say it's the piccadilly line or the circle line or uh you know the the national rail you know pick one of those and uh it's out of the game for one complete uh round of play um it, well let me rephrase that one one time around the table so if i played it uh until it comes back to me Whatever line I choose is out of the game. Stand on the right. Uh, you will uh, play this card, and then you get to take a card out of your hand and give it to the next player. So that can be one of those things where maybe you're going to give them a wild card because you want to get out, of, get the cards out of your hand, uh, and you're you know, you're running low, so you want to be able to go out, or you know maybe you'll just give them a little single line, whatever it is. But essentially, you get to get two cards out of your hand and add cards to the next player. So uh, those are the wilds. Once those are played, the next player can play any card from their hand. Um, but that is essentially it. Now, to be honest with you, I, again, I bought it because there weren't any choices. <laughs> I, like I was, I would go to game stores and I would find the same games in stores in London that I could find at my local game shop here. So when I did find this, it was fun to be able to see something, okay, it's going to spark memories of our trip, and it's also going to just be something unique that I'm not necessarily going to find at home. So that was, that was kind of the first thing, but it ended up being one that we've played a lot in the last few weeks. Uh, we've taken it to friends' houses, we've ha played it at home, we've had uh, my my son and his wife come over and everybody has enjoyed and wanted to play the game. Um, it's, yes, at the end of the day, it's Uno, but like I said, the changes to it make it a little bit better and a lot of fun. And for the price, it was totally worth it. Um, even though I paid too much. But regardless, uh, that is Mind the Gap. Uh, if you are in London, like I said, check out Waterstones. That's a good place. Uh, you may be able to find it others, but that's where I found it. But otherwise, um, you know, if you have a chance to, to pick it up and try it out, I absolutely recommend it. But other than that, Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Share it with someone who you think will enjoy it. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.